I just got out of the exam. I do not know how I feel about that one. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This vlog is going to be over the next two days, I think, um, because this week is jam-packed, so I kind of want to split it into two different vlogs so I can give you as much content as possible. This video is going to be the day before the MPRE and taking the MPRE. The MPRE is the multi-state professional responsibility exam and every law student has to take it before they can sit for the bar. So I'm a third year. I know some people take it their second year, but I think it's most common to take it the August before your third year or during your third year. I didn't take ethics until the semester, so it just made the most sense for me to take it now. Um, and the exam is tomorrow. And I'm not going to say I haven't studied because I have. I've watched almost all of the Barbary modules. That's what I'm going to start with today, just finishing those up. I'm scoring around 70 to 75 percent on the practice exams, which doesn't make me feel great, but I've heard that that's like a passing score. It all, it all depends on your jurisdiction of where you're taking the test, but I've heard that's passing, and I've heard the Barbary questions are also a little bit harder than the actual MPRE, so I'm trying not to freak out too much. But today is going to be a full-on study day which honestly it's a Monday morning I'm very like low energy and just kind of feeling not down today but just like I yeah I guess like I'm just kind of feeling like a little bit off today but we're gonna push through and we're gonna hopefully get a lot done so I just got to school and it is around 8 42 right now it's a little bit later but that's okay um I'm going to study from 9 to 12 and then go home take a lunch break and probably study from home this afternoon. Nathan, my law school best friend, you guys know we have all of our classes together. He actually was out of town this weekend and he doesn't get back to St. Louis until around like five o'clock tonight. So him and I are gonna meet up and study later tonight and it's just gonna be me all day by myself, which is great. But the goal is I'm gonna go into the library, finish watching these Barbary modules and then I'm going to rewatch the module about confidentiality because I've noticed I've been taking practice tests and I noticed the things that I missed the most of are confidentiality and conflicts. And I rewatched the conflicts lecture yesterday and took notes and I'm going to do the same thing with the confidentiality lecture today. I think those are most important because I think those are the two largest sections of the test. So really unfortunate that those are the ones that I'm missing the most of. I think they're just the most tricky and not, not intuitive. Um, so I'm going to rewatch that when I get in, finish the rest of the modules, and then maybe do a practice test before lunch. It really just depends on where I'm at time-wise. But yeah, that's the plan. And then maybe this afternoon, take a couple practice tests, just see where I'm really missing problems, and just hope that in the next 24 hours, I can ingrain all of the answers into my brain because the test is 23 hours away. So also, in other updates, I have been obsessed with the brown sugar cookie butter cold brew. This is like literally my favorite drink that Duncan has released. I like it more than the ice sugar cookie latte from from Starbucks and that's like another one of my favorite drinks. This is so good. So hopefully it can keep me energized for the next three hours. But I don't know, I've gotten so used to like 1L, I did a lot of my studying by myself. I studied by myself pretty much all of 1L. Really didn't have like a study group. I had people in my classes that I talked to about certain things but I did most of it just, just me. And then I feel like I got used to studying with Nathan and him and I have a pretty good system for studying together. And now he's not here today and I'm like, how am I even supposed to study? Which is really not a good thing, but I'm just like thinking about it. Like, how am I supposed to do this by myself? We're going to get three hours of studying him and I will talk to you all after. Okay, I'm back in the car. I'm so sorry that my heat is on. It is like very cold outside, so I apologize for the noise. It is 12.15. I just got back in my car. I was on campus for like three and a half hours. Honestly, I spent some time taking notes on the confidentiality lecture because it was one I needed to watch. Again, um, I finished watching the rest of the lectures, did all the practice problems, and then I took a practice test. And I am like consistently scoring around 42 out of 60, which I know doesn't sound great, but I think that is passing for this jurisdiction. So I'm not too worried. Obviously, I'm not thrilled that I'm missing like 18 out of 60, but um, we're not going for perfection here. We're going for passing. Um, so I'm gonna take a break because I really have been like focused for the last three hours. I've kind of found that throughout law school I have kind of learned how to work smarter. Like I used to just think the amount of time I spent to the library was like important. Like I need to be there for eight hours or else I'm not doing enough and now I'm just like there's no way. Even towards the end of that like three hour stint 
it was becoming hard for me. I was, I think I was missing questions because I just like wasn't able to focus and I'm like hungry and I just, I don't know. So I think for me it's been more like I'll do three hour spurts. Like this afternoon I'll probably work for a couple more hours and then tonight I'll work for a couple of hours. And that ends up being, you know, seven, eight hours of studying, but it's a lot more manageable than just saying I'm going in from nine to five and like gonna just fry my brain. So. Right now we're gonna take a break by going to Trader Joe's. I need some groceries. I don't need a ton of stuff, but I just need some things for the week. So we're gonna go do that, go home. I have like some just random things to do around the house that'll be give me a good break for a little bit. And I need to eat, because I haven't eaten today. So let's go do some errands. Okay, I just got home from Trader Joe's. It's around one o'clock right now. It's been like, I feel like the day is just flying by. I am currently making some lunch because I haven't eaten today and I'm starving. Um, I am cooking up a sweet potato here and then I'm making some bacon here because I've been making like DIY club sandwiches. Also about to put away my groceries. This is just like a really quick, like I haven't been doing full grocery hauls. I've just been getting like things here and there um, so that I don't waste food. Um, so ground turkey, you guys know, number one, I eat this like all the time. I'll probably cook this tonight needed some pink salt um i got cauliflower and gnocchi this is one of my favorite frozen items from trader joe's try not to eat a ton of frozen items but like these are awesome um and then i got some marinara sauce to go with that one of my favorite things from trader joe's is the fire roasted red peppers i love having it with ground turkey and rice one of my favorite like dinners um two tomatoes just for my sandwiches and stuff sourdough bread for my sandwiches my favorite snack of all time frozen blueberries some spinach for my sandwiches some blackberries just to have some fruit and that's it so i'm gonna put this all away make my lunch and i will check in with you after this has been the go-to lunch lately so we have bacon tomato spinach turkey mustard and a little bit of light mayo on the sourdough bread with a sweet potato and i've been loving these sparkling waters since i quit soda this has been it i look forward to this every day it's my favorite lunch i'm gonna eat this and then we have dishes to do and hold on let me show you because this is absolutely ridiculous guys this is all clean laundry that i have not folded so we're gonna do that as well just to give us a little break from npre studying i officially finished doing my little clean um, that took about 45 minutes. I needed to do like, just like, a, I had to take the trash out. I had to do dishes. I had to fold all that laundry that took forever, but it's all done now. I'll show you what we got going on. But now I'm about to get back to MPRE studying. I think I'm just going to take another practice test and really focus on looking over the ones I'm missing. Right now I'm making a little bit of an afternoon latte because I'm really trying not to sleep. I found that something that's been pretty helpful to me is like doing something pretty active right after I eat lunch because lunch is tough for me. Like coming back from lunch is difficult. So um, that's why I did my little cleanup. I think I'm just gonna do a single shot today because I don't think I really need like a ton of caffeine. I think the goal is to study until around four o'clock. So it's around 2.20 right now. So if I study until around four and then I'm gonna go to the gym and just get my steps in because it's really cold outside. And then come back here have some dinner and then study a little bit more. I really just don't like, since I'm passing the practice test, I just don't wanna go overboard and like burn out. So I'm gonna try not to do too much, but if I can get, you know, a solid seven hours of studying in today, I'll feel really good. So I have a latte, let's go study. Okay, it is around 3.45, just took another practice test. I'm just scoring in like the 39 to 42 range, like I scored 40 that time. Um, and all of those are passing, but not by a lot, like passing by like maybe like four questions, four to five questions. So that just makes me nervous. Right now I'm, I'm like a little burnt out today, guys. I've been studying, I've studied for four hours, like pretty intently. I was going to go to the gym and do my walking, but my phone needs to charge. So I'm going to let it charge for like probably another 30 minutes. And during that time, I'm just going to read through the Barbary lectures just on my ipad while i'm just sitting and waiting so i'm honestly just hoping hoping that there is a little bit of a marination period i'm hoping that tomorrow morning things just click a lot more i think i'm partially burnt out today but we will see so i'm about to head out to the gym to get my steps in i really really want to take a nap right now i'm really trying not to because i just telling myself that in five hours i can go to sleep because i really do need a good night of sleep before this test 
Um, this is what I'm wearing to the gym. Guys, I just want to say, I have a couple things. Okay, I am so sorry that it's blurry. I don't know what to do. This camera is on its last leg. I'm featuring this brand, this legging brand, in an upcoming video. Guys, this is one of the most excited I've ever been for like a sponsorship because I have bought from this brand so many times. The brand is CRZ and if you guys know the tank tops that I wear all the time that are linked on my Amazon shop, those are CRZ and they reached out to me to send me some leggings. I've tried their leggings before. Um, I have a pair that I've bought myself but they sent me a ton of pairs and I love the print on this pair. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a camo which really isn't my thing but I just think these are so flattering so I'm very excited. I like to try out like I like to wear all the pieces that I get from brands before I do like mentions of them. Um, but yeah, feeling really good. Gonna head out, get some steps in. I'm only at like 3,000 steps, so hopefully I'll be able to get to 10,000 just chilling. I was gonna like bring my iPad and like listen to lectures while on the treadmill. And honestly, I just need a break because it's been like four and a half hours of studying today and I just need, I need some time off so that I can be productive when I like reconvene later tonight. Okay everyone, I just got home from dinner. I am about to make some tea. I have been a little bit off my tea game, I'm not gonna lie. I was like really strong on it for like weeks and then I stopped doing it, but we are going to make some tea right now. I got this from Target for like 20 bucks. Best investment ever. Um, I'm doing this like glazed lemon loaf. It's kind of like a dessert tea because I'm not having dessert yet until I finish my last practice test. It's gonna be like a reward. Hopefully I can pull out, I'm like hoping like 44. 44 out of 60 would be like, just to show some improvement. Cause I feel like from when I first started taking practice tests, like on Friday, I haven't like improved. <laughs> like my score has stayed like the same. And I'm like, why am I wasting all this time studying if I'm just going to stay exactly the same? I have 13 hours until the test, so. Not much can be done at this point. If I'm going to fail, I'm probably going to fail. And if I'm going to pass, I'm probably going to pass. It has been a couple of hours. I did another practice test, which didn't go super poorly. It actually went pretty well. I scored about a 70%, which has honestly like been around my average. And I'm just, I have to be okay with that because there's not, like I said, I can't teach it to myself in a night. I gotta take the test tomorrow. It's 9.22 right now. About to go to bed, I'm just flossing. I'm optimistic. Am I? No. I, I think I'm like realistic. Like there's a chance, like this could go either way, people. Like I'm not gonna say I'm gonna pass with flying colors because honestly I don't know. But I'm not gonna be negative and say that I'm gonna fail. I'm just gonna say it could go either way. As you can see, morale is, you know, low. However, I'm sure it'll be much better when I'm awake in eight hours. Good morning everyone, happy MPRE day. This is exactly what I wanted to walk out to this morning. We had our first snow and it is absolutely freezing. So it is around, I'm just turning on the heat. It's actually not that cold, honestly. It's just like, I don't know why there's snow on the ground. Um, but I, it is 5.50 AM right now. Um, I'm about to go get some coffee just because you know, I feel like, I feel like I deserve to get a coffee this morning. I don't know why. I just needed to like get up. Um, I'm probably going to leave my house to go get Nathan at around 6.30. So I'm just going to come back from getting coffee, um, get ready, get all my stuff together. Maybe do a last minute review of like, just my notes that I've taken, confidentiality and conflicts of interest. Um, and then honestly, we're just going to let go. We're just going to. We're just gonna see how this goes. I feel like I slept. I didn't sleep that great. Um, I woke up a few times. That's not atypical for me. If I'm worried about something, I usually do not sleep well. And I don't find that it really affects my performance. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but I'm just gonna order some Starbucks. I hope you all are having a great day. I am so excited for the MPRE to be over in five hours. But honestly, even after that, I kind of have a busy day, so, um, yeah, no rest. I'm on call in one of my classes today, and I haven't read for it. Um, so, the test will be over at 10. I'll be able to come back and regroup and read and stuff, but first, it's time to get coffee. Okay, I am editing this footage right now that you're about to watch, this MPRE footage. It's like a week and a half after the test and I am just like crying laughing. What you are about to watch 
is so unhinged. Like, I I don't even know what was on our minds before this exam, but it was not ethics. That's for sure. Um, so enjoy. I'm really sorry. Like, it's super weird. Like, <laughs> just just enjoy. Darth Vader at the end of <laughs> Star Wars 3. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Empire. We're the first people at the testing center, perhaps the only people taking the test today. I think we're the only ones. That would be literally. I was. I we were just. Love that. We were just talking. It'd be the worst case scenario if it was just me, you, and the proctor. Like it would be the worst case scenario. Insane. I'd just start laughing. I know. I start talking to the proctor. <laughs> I'd be like, you know, there's no attorney-client privilege between us three. <laughs> And they'd say, yeah, and you're going to jail. I know, they'd, they'd pull us out back and send us to the clink. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to... There's no attorney between us three. <laughs> well, you, you can see we're clearly in an uh, you know appropriate mental state. I, this is really bad. I, when I woke up, I felt really serious and like ready to go get them. And now I feel um, not like that at all. I feel terrible. Yeah. I did. Do you know, did you ever set like 20 alarms? I'm not alarm? sure I understand. Me too, Sarah. <laughs> do you ever set like 20 alarms? Because you, you like have to be up for a test or something. Yeah. So I, when I do that, and I wake up for the first alarm, and I'm like, oh my god. So I go back to sleep, right? Eventually, there comes a point where I have to disable all of the alarms. And at that moment, I'm like, if I fell asleep right now, I'd be toast. I see. And I, I had one of because I have to get up when I do that. Yeah. But today, I was sitting there still. I was like, oh god. Yeah. No. Today, I woke up. You know, approximately 10 minutes before my alarm. I woke up at 5:30. <laughs> I woke up at 5:30, and I thought, okay, time to turn these off. Yep. No chance. I fall back asleep. Made myself an egg. That's nice. And a piece of bread. Toast. I put it. <laughs> Oh my god! It's just the answer choices that get it for me. It's like the, it's the answer choices that are stupid. That always no, unless yes, yes, but if not, no. I'm like, huh? Yeah, and then the last answer choice, which is usually a picnic side dish. I know, it's like egg salad. Potato salad. Yeah, we, I'm we, like, we thinking, thinking only of ourselves. I know. Like, our the answer. answer clearly is potato salad. Yeah, we're the only people in this lot. Let me make sure. Do we have the right location? <laughs> We're like on the other side of town. I know. It's, um, it's, this is like a warehouse too. Test center location, Suite 130, 2025 Crankshire. Oh, well, I don't really want to dox us. Yeah, it's 2025. Dox us? What? I don't want people to come to our NPR location. It'd probably be better. Oh, here if comes we got... the second test taker. I guess we just go in, you know, nothing, nothing to have, nothing on our persons. All vulnerable. No second test taker. Oh, no, that person was not a test taker. I think they got scared. I think they realized that this was the sham. Arrived 30 minutes early, and, like, no law students are here. It's 50 minutes early. That's weird. That is weird. Like, usually they're usually here, like, think. they camp out. Well, like, it's the night before, like, a big game release <laughs> where they camp outside the game stop. Well, I think this is the second test taker. We got test taker number two pulling into the parking oh, lot. And Congratulations, test taker, three. test taker number two. There's test taker number three. Oh, yeah, they're all coming in now. I'm doing the last minute cram set. I didn't even bring my pad because I knew... I knew there was no point. <laughs> this is always me too, right before a final exam. Do they give us scrap paper? I don't know. They told us that we could have a comfort item. Shut up. Did they really? Mm -hmm. They said you can bring in yourself and a comfort item. Well, I guess mine will already be in the room. Yeah. <laughs> we brought in our squishmallows. I know. And then this is... This is Charlotte. I brought in all seven of them. <laughs> honestly, my squish models would probably do better with you on this test. By the way, I'm practice testing. Like, they, honestly, there is a non-zero chance that they won't be in this exam. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's so disheartening when you t answer a question that's wrong. Yes, and then you click to the next one. It's wrong again. Like, I, when these it's practice failure tests... Failure begets failure. These practice tests, I'm consistently... If I miss more than two in a row, mm. I, it's a guarantee that I miss six in a row. Yes, at because least. I start to I start to get upset and frustrated. That's why I think having the test, because the Themis questions... So the Barbary practice test will uh -huh. tell you as you answer the question if it's right or wrong. Themis, Which is also frustrating, because then I look down and read the answer, and the time's still going. That Yes, Themis did not. So Themis yeah. just had you submit, and then, like, just gave you the score afterwards. Yeah, and see how you... Which I liked better, because I felt like I didn't get in my head about, like... Because I... Look, and That's like, super on Themis, there was a string where I had like three in a row wrong, but it wasn't like six or seven in a row. Because I honestly think it's a psychological thing. Uh, this does honestly give me such LSAT vibes. Like we're at a random location, like next to a hotel. I know, could we not have like zoomed in? Because these tests are always at a hotel or in the proximity of a, a hotel. I took my, my LSAT during the California forest fires. So literally as I'm driving there, the fo like the, the surrounding forests are burning down. <laughs> Is that a metaphor? There's, yeah, there's smog everywhere. I'm like... 
Like, I feel like that was an omen for you to like not do law school, but yet you persisted. Nevertheless. You know. <laughs> okay, so just one person here? Like, that's that? Well, a lot of people took this test yesterday. Oh. We're just, it was also administered yesterday. We're Slack City. I don't know why we picked Tuesday. Probably because we thought, you know, an extra day would be good. Yeah, I mean, that's usually why I always try to protect future Nathan. I don't know. Guys, all right, we're going to go in in a couple of minutes and um, take this test. Talk to you after. Say goodbye. Hope we make it back. Okay, I just finished the MPRE. I just got out of the exam. I do not know how I feel about that one. So it's 9.17. Basically, it's a two-hour exam. Um, I'm done. I was done at around the hour mark. And then I did, like, a go-through where I went through all the problems. And honestly, like, I feel like... It, I, I think I was probably the first one done and that makes me nervous because I'm not the type of person where if I sit and look at it long enough the answer is just going to come to me. It's really truly if I know what I know what if I don't I don't. I don't often change my answers. I think when I went back through the test I changed two and honestly I probably got them wrong when I changed them so like usually I am pretty good with my gut instinct being like I either know it or I don't. Um, so that's why I left but it's so funny because Nathan and I are different test takers in that regard. It's 9.18, I'm gonna play a game. We're gonna guess how long it takes him. I'm gonna say Nathan is in this car at 9.32. I think 9.32 seems right. Okay, so Nathan still doesn't come out. It's 9.37. I think I've decided that when he does come out, I'm gonna play a little prank on him. Oh my God, hold on, he's coming, he's coming. Hello? Hello. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, it was like so easy. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. I, it, I, there was a couple I just sat looking at for like five minutes. Cause yeah. There was a few I was just like. Yeah. This easiest test this. ever. I'm not gonna say easiest test it was ever. Super easy. I feel, I feel good. Yeah, it was like really easy. I'm glad you feel good about it. Yeah, it was fun. You loved it. Yeah, I was having a good time. I kept thinking this is wow, it's so easy. <laughs> It was a hidden camera prank. <laughs> it was hard. I thought you were. I thought you were. I thought you were gonna come in, and I was gonna be like, it was so easy, and you were gonna be like, what? Oh. Okay. Instead, I'm like, it's easy, and you're like, yeah, it was actually like really easy. And no. I was like, oh wait. Here's the kicker. I modified how I was feeling because you felt awesome. <laughs> um, I didn't feel incredible. <laughs> so that was the MPRE, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my little hidden camera prank. <laughs> See now I feel stupid. In and out these courtrooms, my lawyer like objection. Yeah. Hey, it's kind of like wow. us. Guys, things are like really bad. Things are like the, the worst. And when I say really bad, I mean like things have went to a new low. We haven't updated this since after the MPRE. Nathan, you're at home. We haven't updated this since after the MPRE. Yeah, for y'all, nothing's changed. I know. For it's, us, all has all changed. All has changed. Everything has changed. We came home. I did Pilates. We went on a walk. Like, honestly, the afternoon, like, leading up to, like, the first class thing for good, we, uh, went to Target. I got a lot of stuff from Target. I'll do a haul later. Today was, like, super good and productive. Until investment banking. We weren't, we ended up not being on call because we had a guest speaker today. Thank God. However, it was just, like, it's finally hitting me that I've been up since, like, you know, 5.30. And well, I just, like, didn't sleep well last night. And, like. This setup was the best. So, we, we log into this class, right? We're sitting there. We're the only ones logged in under the dual name Madison yes, and Nathan. We are Madison literally, control. we are logged in on the Zoom as Madison and Nathan. And everyone is in the class. You're not, you're allowed to be on Zoom today, so you don't have to be in class. But everyone's in the classroom except us. We are reclined on a couch with the computer propped up. And, and there are strobe lights going. <laughs> My apartment. Yeah, apartment lights. They're so, on strobe settings so for some reason. So you see that two people are in one frame with rainbow strobe frame happening. On our way to ethics, ethics is in 10 minutes. I and know. the idea of sitting through a two hour class right now, here's the thing guys, I quit soda like probably two and a half, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Soda pop, is that what? I want a soda so bad right now. <laughs> yeah. And I think that like goes to show like, like right now I just want, I don't want coffee. I want like, I want soda. I want a Coke Zero so yeah. bad. But you know what I say? It, it's in these moments that are, it's in these moments. <laughs> I feel delirious. And you know the thing that you know the thing that I hate the most about this guy is you know what the gag of it all is? Is that I it's not like I can go home and be like, oh the day is done. Yeah. No, I have to make a whole presentation tonight. I have to bake a whole batch of cookies tonight. Yeah.